everyone. I'm Adrian Everhart, your dating and relationship coach. I am a feminine energy expert. One of the things I help women do is realign their feminine energy so you can attract a high quality masculine energy man. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to drive your guy wild, why men go wild, and how you can tap into the soft, warm, feminine energy. So stick around. Thanks so much for joining me today. Again, I am a certified dating and relationship coach. I specialize in feminine energy, something I have studied for a good long while. And if you like my videos, you like the content I bring you, and you'd like to to join me for some of my live streams or get notified when I have a video all you have to do is ring the little bell you see on my screen and subscribe and you'll be able to join me for live videos so often I hear from women on my Facebook group I heart love Academy and on my YouTube channel in the comment section Adrian I don't want to have to think to get into my feminine energy I want to, it to be natural I don't want to have to change for any man and this really isn't our true selves if we're having to change ourselves. So I actually thought a lot of the same things you're thinking, which is how do I become soft and warm? I am soft and warm. You know, what is this thing called feminine energy? And myself and my good friend, Helena Hart, we were both kind of learning about it and going deeper into feminine energy. And I was really committed to not wanting have to have to change who I am as a person. I wanted, if a man was going to love me, he needed to just love me just the way I was. But I kept having failed relationships and I would seem to really turn off or drive away what were pretty good guys in my life. Another thing I experienced is that masculine energy men kind of scared me. They were off-putting to me. And I know so often my mom or my cousins or my sister would ask me, you know, why don't you like this type of man? And I would always say, oh, they're too manly. They're too brutish or whatever. And what was really happening is that my masculine energy was challenged or being challenged by their masculine energy. So just real quick, think for a second about feminine and masculine energy and how even in a homosexual couple, one of the people in that relationship is usually more feminine energy or one is more masculine energy. And so you have this nice balance of energies where the man, the masculine energy is pursuing the woman, which is the feminine energy. So just real quick, think about something like your sex life, for example. What if you are the one that's having to pursue your husband for intimacy and sex? It really wouldn't feel right. Most women would not want to have that sort of situation in their relationships. So part of being soft and warm is being so available and open and a very easy energy that men feel good around that they actually identify with it. They feel good when they're with you and they're going to want to spend more time with you. Feminine energy isn't about being a doormat. It isn't about being so much up in your head. You have to think of everything before you say it to the man. And it definitely isn't about holding back who you are. It's just a way that we're going to tap into what's really happening with you. And instead of jumping up to your mind, which is masculine energy and figuring the man out, you're going to learn how to be soft and warm, really pull him to you, drive him wild for you. Now, this is a lot of information to learn in just a video or even on my channels. So I have lots of self-study programs on my website that you can really learn more about your feminine energy, learn how to have a man hanging on to every word you say, and just learn how to have men coming out of everywhere pursuing you, especially your guy at home, by being soft and warm. So check those out, especially my ebook, 500 Ways to Talk to a Man. That is a great book to get started with dropping into your body and finding your feelings. So if you identify yourself as a woman, as a female, I'm going to encourage you to get more into your feminine energy. Now, at work, you may be in your masculine energy, which is action. It's making things happen. You're doing things. You can still be soft and warm, and here's how. You will be in your body. So even though you're having to do a million and one things at work and you're having to sometimes manage people and delegate and tell people what to do, you can still be in your body and practice and find what you feel. You can still speak to people in a very warm way. 
So let's say you like someone at your job. You like a man that he is maybe your boss or a coworker, and you're in your masculine energy all day, so he can't really see you as this feminine being. So one of the first things you can do, and ladies, you can do this in any situation. You can do it with your husband at home while you're on a date or anything like that, is just make sure you're stopping to slow down and breathe. I know everybody's telling you to breathe. Your yoga teacher's telling you to breathe. Your physician tells you to take breathe when he takes your heartbeat. Look, breathing is a great way to slow down your mind. Remember, your mind is masculine energy. So just take a couple of slow, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth and just start to slow down your body a little bit. Good. The next thing I want you to do is your head might be spinning up here thinking, oh my goodness, how do I figure all this stuff out? What do I say to him? What do I talk about? How do I get his attention? So notice you're in action mode. You're trying to think of ways to get into action. That's a good sign you're in your masculine energy. So instead, you just drop into your body and say, well, what do I feel right now? What am I feeling? Well, I feel a little nervous. I feel a little shy. I feel curious. I don't know how all of this is going to turn out with him. So what do you really feel? And you just sit there and own those emotions. You actually don't have to do or say anything to get a man crazy about you and feel really wild about you. Just be in your body. You will have this soft, warm confidence emanating from you and the man will feel it and he will find it irresistible. Men love a soft, warm, feminine energy woman because they don't feel challenged by you. They don't feel under a microscope or micromanaged. So think about their world all day long. They are maybe working with men or in a mostly masculine energy environment all day. They're either giving the orders or they're having to take them or they're having to work in a group. Now men work like this. There's one alpha. There's one alpha in every group. There may be little subgroups at his work where he might be the alpha with his guys that he's hanging out with, but there is one alpha. There is one boss. And men play by this rule very easily. They go right along with it. They totally get it. This is why men can get into a, a scuffle or a fist fight and one man wins and the other doesn't and they shake hands after. Do you think that could really happen with two women after two women get into a fight? I don't think so. We don't work like that. We don't have this hierarchy that we're having in our lives. So when a man's in your life and he comes home at the end of the day and he's in his masculine energy, he's had to take orders all day, he's maybe had to give orders all day, we don't know. He's been struggling with all these you know, masculine energy and some feminine energy. He's having to tone his down his masculine energy to, to be nice to any other woman he's working around. Men really do think this way. They really do. So when he comes home to you, he doesn't want to talk about business. He doesn't want to hear about work or task or what I call maintenance conversation. Your date, your boyfriend, your husband, he wants that soft, warm energy. This is his solace. This is what he's been craving all day. Ladies, if you've ever found a man looking at women, found him pictures of a woman on his phone or his computer, this is because men feel good. They feel like a man when they look at women and when they interact with women. And heaven forbid your man ever leave you for another woman or talk to other women. In a lot of cases, he's doing it because that woman is making him feel like a man or helping him feel like a man. Now, I am totally against all of that. But before you lose your relationship or feel insecure, why not become the woman that helps him balance his energies? So this is a lot of ways a woman can heal the man through her, which I absolutely believe can happen once you balance your energy, once you get into your feminine energy and stay there <laughs> and don't wobble too much, the man will more and more get into his masculine energy. Men are really just drawn to women in their feminine energy because we're confident. We're not up in our heads and challenging the man with action or trying to outdo him or compete with him in any way. Men can finally with us relax and just give us that masculine attention we want while we receive 
Now, I personally have found that I am more in touch with my feminine energy now. I used to be the biggest, baddest ball buster you have ever met. And now I'm so much more calm and relaxed uh, being a woman. It feels so much more natural to me. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, well, how did I lose my feminine energy? Where did it go? Many women, I call us powerful dynamite women. We were brought up in a household with a dad or a father figure or maybe even your mother that was really strong, confident, had more of that alpha energy. And there's a part of you for survival purposes, you relate to that energy the most. And so you think for survival, I need to relate more to this tougher energy. It doesn't happen to everybody because some women are brought up in households where the energies are balanced and they see their mom, you know, being treated fairly, having a good career and things like this and being soft and warm and receiving. So they don't ever make that correlation that I need to be tough. So if home life doesn't do it to you, when you get out in the real world, everyone tells you you have to be tough. Don't cry. You have to be this way at work or that way at work. And we want to make it. We're in this Western society where if we want something, we go out and we get it. It does not work that way with men. You will repel a man by chasing him and pursuing him. At the same time, you can be in your feminine energy, you can be warm and you can be receiving and a man that you really, really want will pass on you. It happens. Sometimes, even though your energy is in the right place, he's just not ready or he's not attracted or the energies just aren't feeling good to him. There's so much that goes into attraction. However, that's the man that's in front of you right now. Even if it's not your dream guy, even if it is your dream guy, He's who you want to practice on right now and all other men. Learning how to be soft and warm is something you can practice on a daily basis, even if you're text messaging or speaking to a man on the phone. So it's just this simple. When a man feels really good and he's around you and he's feeling really good and he's feeling like a man, he's not going to be able to get enough of you. He's not going to be able to get enough of this softness and warmth. That's why men gravitate to feminine energy women. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Again, if you like my content, please click subscribe and be sure to hit the bell so you can get my updates when I have live videos or release a new video. If you want to learn more about feminine energy and just how all of this works, I have so many courses and programs over at my website, everheartcoaching.com, and be sure to definitely check out my ebook, 500 Ways to Talk to a Man. It will get you started in this wonderful process of tapping into your feminine energy, rediscovering who you are as a woman. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments section. If you start to feel your feminine energy and get wonderful positive responses, or you're curious or whatever it may be, please comment below. I would love to hear from you.